We had a very clear idea about what this film would be, and I remember being over in Sydney a few weeks before Jen was going to go out to Nepal and go to base camp. And we sort of blocked out what we thought the film would be, but I also remember my sort of almost final words before I headed back to the airport and back to London was, well, we could have planned this, but anything can happen on Everest. What, of course, did happen was way beyond what we ever would have imagined or feared. Um, when I heard the news, I wasn't at base camp, I couldn't go there, and there's not constructively that much I could have done anyway. When I heard the news of the terrible avalanche in April 2014, in which 16 Sherpas died, I mean, it was devastating. Um, it was Obviously, it was a tragic event. I worried, was it our people? I worried, was it our crew? And I, I found out fairly quickly all our team and all our crew were safe. And then suddenly this realization that the whole film we were planning to do was no longer possible. We'd hoped to follow Sherpas to the very summit of, of Mount Everest. Um, it was clear that very quickly that there was going to be no climbing. So the film that everyone had agreed to, the financiers, everyone had contracted to, simply wasn't possible. We'd shot maybe 10% of it. So immediately you have to go into overdrive. And this is the joy of documentaries. In a in scripted world, you've got a script and you make the script. In documentary, you're following real events. And Sherpa was documentary in its purest form. So we had to somehow make a film given uh, that suddenly we didn't have a film uh, that we were planning to make. So we almost had to start again. But what's more, we didn't know how long we'd have left on the mountain before everyone had to leave the mountain because basically in the um, anger and shock and emotion in the wake of this terrible tragedy, uh, all the Sherpa teams were wanting to pull off the mountain. So how much longer could we even film there for? And did we have a story? So I was just in regular contact with Jen. Amazingly, communications work well to base camp. You can even call on a cell phone saying, we've just got to keep filming. We've got to follow events. So we just scooped up whatever we could. And then what happened? Because we were supposed to make a story about the relationship between the climbers and the Sherpas. And actually the tragedy created something which I have to say made a, better, made a better film because it threw into sharp relief that relationship between those that help us climb the mountain, the Sherpas, and those that pay to climb the mountain, the Westerners. It threw that relationship in sharp relief. And by following what happened in the five or six days after the tragedy, we had a very different sort of film, but actually, ultimately, a film that spoke more powerfully about the very questions we were seeking to ask.